What's going on you guys, Clanger? Welcome back to the channel, CoCommerce, and welcome back to the Material UI Crash Course. In this specific video, we're gonna be going over the transfer list component in Material UI. So a little bit more complicated than the rest, but it's not too difficult. So let's go ahead and jump in here. So uh, I'm already in this folder here, okay? So if you're following along, I'm using Vite.js, which is a React library. So go ahead and install Vite.js. I'm gonna put a link down the first video that I have recorded. So you can install Vite.js and then also configure Material UI. Super easy, it takes about 30 seconds. So Assuming you've done all that, let's go ahead and create a new component here. And I'm just gonna call this uh, transfer list example, just like that, JSX. So REFC is gonna generate our functional component here, okay? So this is our, go to MUI.com, okay? And we're gonna go into components. So we're taking off this, check out the components, inputs, and we're looking at the transfer list, okay? So this is pretty cool. So one of the things I love about Material UI, so everything's kind of styled for you. And yes, you can add on some additional custom styling, but everything is styled for you and it looks really, really great. So it just kind of significantly decreases the amount of time if you're building out a web app from scratch. So uh, let's go ahead and check out this basic transfer list right here. So I'm just gonna click on this code here. Okay, I'm gonna click on the hide source code, show source code. And what I'm gonna do is import all this stuff from React, okay, importing it from Material UI. And I'm just gonna paste that in there, okay? And I'm just kind of showing you how fast it is to get started with Material UI, okay? So it looks like, here's our return statement. Here's our custom list. So we're gonna take everything in there. And I'm just gonna copy all of that. And I'll just paste over all of that just like so. And let's have a look and see, see what it's doing there. So I'm gonna go ahead and refresh. Oh, did we not? Let's go ahead and add this into our app.js. So app.jsx, we need to import our transfer list example. So let's go ahead and we'll say transfer list ex example, just like that. There we go. And for some reason, it did not want to import that, which is fine. Transfer list example. Oh, well, did I spell that right? Yeah, transfer. Okay, for some reason, that's all good. So let's just copy that last one down and we'll change this one to transfer list example there we go and from transfer list example just like that let's go ahead and save and there we have it cool so look at this so that's just from copying pasting you guys you can saw just from copying pasting we get this over here uh just like that okay so let's go back to our transfer list example let's scroll up okay so it looks like we have some state in here that's probably just mapping through. Click left. Cool. Our buttons here. So that's pretty awesome right there. So if you want to transfer something over, uh, looks like I just did everything. That was a transfer all button. <laughs> okay, so let's just transfer over. Let's find list items. We'll do this, we'll do, I'm gonna refresh here and looks like it has these one through four and then five, six, seven, eight. So if you wanna add one and four over there, we'll do this button. And there you can do one by one or all together, seven, eight, six, seven, eight. We'll move that back over here. Pretty cool. And you can connect this to a database and kind of keep, um, instead of keeping it in your local state here, you can push this to a database. So it just kind of filtering and, and moving everything from a database. It looks like this is just a left and um, write values that it's storing here in material UI. So if you wanted to add all these here, I'm just gonna copy this here, we'll put a space, and then um, leave the empty array. So if you save that, you can see kind of like that, that's how it would come like from a database. If you wanted to like start from scratch, something like that, just kind of a little example there, uh, see what else we can do. Enhanced transfer list, so it kind of shows you how much is selected. Let's go and look at the source code on that. I'm just gonna copy all of that there paste in there, give it a refresh, and let's see. So this could be due to syntax errors. What's going on here? There it goes, cool. One selected, two selected, three selected, four selected. But let's move this one over there, see if it jumps up to, whoops, move all these over there. So it is dynamic, the more you add. So if you wanna add this over, if you wanna add them all over, it's pretty cool. Smash the like button if you feel like you're getting some value out of this. I know some people will be like, oh, he copied and pasted, but you know what? 
that's a lot of what developing is, uh, copying, pasting, especially stuff like this that is so uh, routine and just kind of like basic that you can copy over from, from documentation. So I promise you um, the most experienced developers are copying, pasting just like this and then editing what they need to edit. So that's something that I, I kind of took a while for me to learn. I wanted to like code everything from scratch and I thought it was maybe like kind of noble or maybe you'd have like some sort of like bragging rights the top people, they're gonna copy and paste and then they're just gonna edit what they need to edit. How are you gonna write all of this from scratch? That's the whole reason we're using uh, Material UI in the first place, so we don't have to write all of this CSS from scratch. So it doesn't make you any better or worse of a developer. It just makes you smart because you're saving time. So yeah, you could sit here and code it all out from scratch, but why would you do that? That's why these component libraries are made for you. So take advantage of the uh, documentation here. You can do something as complicated as this may be. Like this would be super complicated to do, especially for a beginner beginner developer to write from scratch without material UI. And we just got it up and running in probably about three or four minutes from the start of this video. So that's gonna wrap up the component library here for the inputs for material UI. Smash the like button if you like, you got some value out of this and I'll see you on the next one.